have named the tech hypnotist this year, and everyone recommended that I um, re like take a look at the Mercedes EQS sedan, and I'll do it for you guys. So first, we're going to look at technology and performance. So the Mercedes has a 107.8 kilowatt battery capacity, 1.25 hours of charging time from 10 to 100 percent, has AC charging 240 volts, 31 minutes 10 to 100 percent charging time, DC fast charging 200 kilowatts, and has 329 horsepower and 406 pounds of feet of torque, which is EQS 450 plus, and 516 horsepower and 611 pounds of feet of torque, which is the EQS 580 format. And it has 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, that's acceleration, which is in the EQS 480 plus, and 4.1 seconds in the EQS 584 Matic. And by the way, there's the EQS 480 plus and the EQS 584 Matic. Those are the two of them. And the estimated top speed of the EQS is 130 miles per hour. It has rear axle steering up to 4.5 degrees, optional 10 degrees. Aromatic air suspension with adaptive damping system. Dynamic select including comfort, sport, echo, and individual driving modes. Adjustable regenerative braking with steering wheel pedals. Active ambient lightning, light, lightning, lightning with illuminated door sill panels. And it's a keyless start, so there's no keys in this. And a keyless go with seamless door handles and hand-free access. It has active parking assist with surround view camera. And because there's like a lot of cameras in it, since you can also auto drive with it. it, has digital light intelligent lighting system with front and rear LED light bands. It has and has active high beam assist. Driver assistance package with active distance assist distronic. That you can buy one of those packages. It has active lane keeping and blind spot assist, which is another package, and pre safe plus, including pre safe and plus side, which is another package. And it has wireless smartphone, in smartphone integration and wireless front smartphone charger, like all the new EVs have. And 600 USB C ports. Now let's talk about the design. So the EQS, the thing different about it, it has a new MBUX multimedia system with augmented reality navigation. And talking of MBUX, it actually has an MBUX hyper display, which is actually goes from the steering wheel from the second passenger's um, door, which is very big, and it's all one screen. And it has including natural language understanding and keyboard activation so the car actually has like uh, its own like type of Alexa type of thing so it has you can say hey Mercedes to activate it and this is for EQS 580 optional MBUX hyperscreen which what I was talking about with three displays under a single 56 inch curved glass surface so it's basically all in one but it's separated a bit and has a 12.3 instrument cluster, 7.7 inch central old LED dis touchscreen display, and 12.3 inch passenger display. And it has 8 CPU cores, 24 GB RAM, and 46.4 GB RAM per second RAM memory. The largest display ever in a production Mercedes Benz, which is very nice. It has haptic feedback with a total of 12 actuators under the touchscreen surface. It can support 27 languages with natural language understanding, which they also call NLU. As a personal home screen with zero layer principle, the MBUX can be controlled by natural voice recognition, like I told. As a fluid, proactive user interface, so the, the, the screens will work very nicely. As an AI data processing for innovative driver suggestions, the MBUX with up to seven profiles can be activated by biometric authentication, voice control, and facial recognition. So if up to seven people can be stored in the facial recognition and biometric authentication. 
The AQS 450 Plus has a 12.8 central OLED LED touchscreen portrait display. The fingerprint sensor for bi biometric authentication of the driver to activate profile it has active ambient lightning with 64 colors, including a new EQ specific color scheme. It has a front rear automatic doors with smart power open and close. As digital light with light band, active ambient lightning, heat it's lighter seats with multi couture ambient light illumination, and the heat of lighter seats you can actually control the the heat by the screen and you can actually on massage mode which like massages you which is very nice. Has a comfort front headrest and rear headrest pillows. Has a Brewmaster 3D sound system with sound personalization. Has a HEPA air filtration for cabin air filtration. So your AC will be half like very filtered air, which is nice. Has a multi contour front seats with massage, like I talked about. Has a four zone climate control. You can choose different climates. Has soft closed doors. Comfort center armrest for wireless charging, which we talked about a bit. The Mercedes ME charge compatibility has a panorama sun sunroof and 20 inch wheels. So the sunroof, or oh, oh, the Tesla, so you can like choose if they have it, but in the Mercedes, it's always comes. So that's very nice.